So it's easy enough to find pleasure in the creative work that you do. When I'm actually talking to clients, oh my God, I love it. And when I'm actually working with the clay, I love it. It's easy to find pleasure there. But what about the business of art? The business of getting your work out into the world? You know that I believe firmly that your work needs to be out in the world. When you've got it to a certain level of sophistication and you believe that it's ready, it needs to go out. So how do you do that? How do you find pleasure in it? So many of us creatives find that business end of things to be ugh, so painful, to be the nasty, icky spinach stuff that you have to eat in order to get the good stuff. <clears throat> spinach is yummy, actually, if you do it right with garlic, right? You don't overcook it and you give it, oh, you put it with the right stuff. Anyway, that's the point. Like, okay, there is business to be attended to, but if you maintain that quality of pleasure in your pursuit of the business, and you keep asking yourselves, how can I find more ease in this? How can it be more aligned with my values? What parts of this are so not my strengths that I should find somebody else to help me with it? How do I do this in a way that is aligned with my strengths? What are the strengths that I really enjoy doing? that I could use in the business of art. This is the thing. Marketing has a bad rap because of used car salesmen and, and people who are slimy and ugh, shoving it down your throat. But if you're doing it in, as an act of generosity, it's another way in which you're being true to who you are and you're bringing your idea of beauty, pleasure, importance out into the world from that place of generosity, it actually feels good. It doesn't feel like, and it shouldn't be manipulative. If it does feel manipulative, then stop that process. It's, you don't want to do it in a manipulative way. You want to do it in a way that feels like an extension of the creative work that you're doing, right? That you're, you're offering something in the world and you're offering it in a way that is true to who you are. That's the only way to do it that makes any sense at all. So like when I do craft shows, there's, there's fun in it for me. There's fun in it. There's fun in meeting people. There's fun in talking about art, but there's also fun in like designing the, the booth in a way that's kind of exciting. There's fun in the organizational quality of it, like figuring out how to organize myself so that it there's problem solving in it. It's, it's interesting, right? I don't think it's for everybody. I don't think it's for everybody. I certainly... I'm not one who's going to be spending a whole lot of time on uh, social media. That's not where I find my pleasure. I like meeting people directly. So I think if you can let yourself ask the questions, if I'm finding resistance, I'm finding discomfort in the process of the business of art, then how can I make it work with my values more? What values am I, am I pushing over and I need to come back to? How can I work it better with my strengths, what I'm really good at, what I enjoy doing? How can I work it better with my temperament? Like, what kind of a person am I? Do I love being around people or do I not? Or do I love, um, do I have a sort of, Anyway, you know, temperament, lots of things in that. And mission, of course. Like, am I doing this in a way that's getting the work out to the people who need it, who want it? Yeah. 
All right, I'll talk to you soon. Val Gilman, Taproot Arts and Insight. There's so much to say about making the business of art make sense. But the compass of your pleasure is going to matter. It's going to make a big difference for you. Don't try to do it. Don't push yourself into something that is painful. It's not worth it. Then keep doing it.